What's on guys? Right, day two, trying to sort the clutch out. Need it working for tomorrow ideally. So taking it out of the car, got it in the it got it in the bench here now. So this is the arm that was in there originally, the, the pivot arm. So you've got the master cylinder at this end, and then this is the end with the tie rod that connects to the clutch pedal. So originally it was just a flat, a flat bar. We had a basically a piece of M8 stud welded to the very end of this this single 10mm piece of bar stock here which then bolted this tie rod on and they, it was nothing more than a stud, there was nothing supporting the stud. Obviously the strain over time, it's been walking forward and back, forward and back to the point where it, it snapped off, which is why the clutch pedal went to the floor. So there's no sense in just welding another stud to it because obviously it's only done a few thousand miles like that and it's failed, so it's only going to happen again. So what I've done is build a bit of a cage around the rose joint now, so the bolt is supported from both sides. So you can basically see I've just boxed it in so we've got proper thick steel on both sides of that rose joint now. If we can get some sort of focus going on here. There we go. So it's really, really well supported. There's no way that's going to break now. Only slight concern will be whether or not it still fits in the car. I've hopefully been measuring it as I've been going along. I've been, I haven't actually trial fitted this bit, but I've been keep, I've, I've been putting the the bracket back in and sort of visually looking at it. I'm pretty sure we've got clearance for that. The tightest bit really is at the bottom here, so I've actually threaded the plate rather than putting a nut on the back side of it because you'll never get in there to put a nut on. So the actual plate, which is thicker than a nut anyway, so there's plenty of threads there. And that then tightens down nice and tight and gives us the full travel of the rose joint without affecting anything else. Hopefully that's still going to clear at maximum travel against the bulkhead. Worst case, we may have to just clearance it ever so slightly on this corner, but I think we should be good. So that's that part modified. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think that's going to fail now. So the next part we've decided to modify. I'll just take it out of the vice a minute. So the next thing I wanted to make some adjustments to, this is the other end of that pivot arm now. So this is the rose joint that we've, we've finished. Now where the stock master cylinder sits on the, the end of that arm, we made it originally so that um, this is this piece here with the sort of with the, with the recessed piece for a C clip, that's actually off the stock, off a pedal out of a stock car. Idea being, I didn't want to modify the mass cylinder at all from its original configuration, it, mainly so that if we ever had it fail, it's still just a case of unbolting it. And this is a completely factory cylinder, so you can just buy another one, bolt it in, and carry on. So, which is why I retain the stock uh, clipping mechanism on the end, which, to be fair, has been okay. The problem we've had, so that goes on there like that, it used to be retained with a plastic clip. Now that was proving to be a bit of a problem because of the increased strain and occasionally it would like to pop pop off. Obviously this, this wasn't on the end before, it was it was flush with that. So quite a long time ago we modified it instead of using that so you can actually sit a, a C-clip on there. Now since doing that we haven't touched wood, had any issues with it whatsoever, but I've never been 100% confident in it. I've always been a bit concerned that with some extra wear there's always a still potential for that C-clip to pop off and obviously then that arm to flip off and as soon as that happens you lose the clutch again. So more as a safety than anything else, I've retained the original design so it still sits on the original bush with it, with, with the C-clip but we've now added, so I've welded a piece of stud on the end so you can now slot the bush down that sits on top of the C-clip and then there's some extra threads on top so that we can uh, put a nut and then a lock nut on top of there no strain on that it's just literally just resting on that C clip lock the nuts together it's now impossible for that to pop off so there's not actually any strain on that stud it's not taking any load of such it's purely there to make sure that it can't slip upwards and pop off so I'm pretty confident now that we aren't going to get a problem there okay giving it a quick look of paint now so pretty much ready to put it back in the car so like I said before we've strengthened this end here we've added support both sides of that bolt Oop, paint's still wet did also just add a gusset in on that pivot point. It's not really been an issue, but there's no reason not to have one there. So I thought for good measure, we'll just gusset that in, strengthen that up, just reduce any risk of that cracking off or something. And obviously we've got our double lock nut system on top of here now. So hopefully that's gonna be okay. I can't really see anything else. The only real weak point now, well it's not really a weak point, but the only real fault with it is the fact that it pivots on that stud there. I filled it up with grease there for now, so it should be hopefully okay. I think really in the long run I could do of cutting all of this off, welding a piece of tube in with sleeve, sleeving two bearings, then a shaft in the middle of the bearings, obviously up through this plate, welded on so that it actually rotates on bearings rather than a bush because it won't wear out then. And obviously it's going to be a lot stronger. 
Right, okay, let's get it outside and get it back in. I don't know if you can hear us, boys, but I am shouting. It's loud in here. Are you amused, Chris? Not amused. We need ear defenders. You ain't going to do 2,000 miles like this. How's Sunday then going? It's a bit loud. Sam is Sam's out of action today. What are you, man? Yeah. Oh, but you should have done some ear defenders. Oh, we didn't remember them. <laughs> yeah, that's top priority. We're now on trip. <laughs> is it bad? Oh, jeez. Worse than the Cummins. That would be better, would it? I think the Cummins would be better. Cummins is quieter on trips. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, don't. Is, that off, is, that, is that off a class implement or not? Uh, Same's on a PZ. Oh, look out, it's got the official shirt on. Wearing yeah. official footwear as well. Should probably put these boots on. I, should, I mean, I'm, I'm not planning to get into your dirty today. I'm not planning to get into your dirty today. So maybe I should do, go. Do you need this angle? What? Do you need angle? Um, I don't know that we do, but it might help. I can make it work without it if you don't want to take it off. <laughs> Have a look at it. If it looks like it'll be a total round off and nightmare to get off, don't worry. But if it'll come off easily. You again, Sam.
Come look at what team exhausts up to.
Well, for that, because that is a cheap Chinese 2.5 to 3. Yeah, that's what it might be. Yeah, that's fine. Unless, um, I'll tell you what we could do. We could bend. Oh, do, do you want to leave these on? I'm sure you've got rodents living in your hair, James. <laughs> <laughs> issues boys we keep losing power and the management light keeps coming on and I've had a look and it's because we're losing rail pressure can't work out why on the way up we had a bit of a problem the swell tank is leaking fuel so we bypassed it so the tank now is feeding the uh, CP3 directly we pulled the fuse out the fuel pump because it's deadheading the lift pump so we're wondering whether there's somewhere an air leak somewhere and it's sucking air and it's obviously putting air in the fuel system and then keeps airing up so we're at the minute I'm just quickly making it so the lift pump runs permanently. We're gonna put the fuse back in, drive it, and see if the problem goes away. If it does, then that's what the problem is. If it doesn't, then we've got something else going on. So that's what we're doing. 